Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shay. Let we go. So, I wanted to come to you because we are in 2017. So I wanted you to start off the year right with your locks. If you're starting, welcome. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the family. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. To get you on the right path, I'll go a do and a do not. Does that work for you guys? So first things first is use minimal products. Learn what your hair likes and what your hair doesn't like. You don't need 110 products to have healthy hair. Use the basic necessities. I first say start off with rose water and vitamin E. Great to start with your hair. You don't need anything else unless you want to get some thickerization in your hair. Grab you some castor oil, but you don't need that much stuff in your hair. So that would be a do. Use minimal products. A don't is, and I have been telling you guys this so long, but I haven't told you the proper way to do it, so I feel bad about this. And a don't is to use oils in your hair to moisturize your hair. Yes, you use oils in your hair to help with moisture, but that wouldn't be the thing that keeps your hair moisturized. Does that make sense? So what would make sense would to be to use the rose water or the rose water to spritz on your roots that will moisturize your hair and to bind it and to close it, put an oil on top of it. So a don't will be to use oils to moisturize your hair because oils on itself will not moisturize your hair, but you need some sort of fluid and an oil and that will bind the moisture together. Another do is to sleep with satin or to sleep with something covering your hair. You never want to go to sleep without a, something to cover your hair. Why I say satin is because satin helps to keep your hair moisturized, it prevents lint, and it's comfortable to sleep in. So this is don't number two is interlocking. Interlocking can be great if done properly but improperly it will cause your hair to break, thus cause your hair to thin, and that is just not a good thing. Make sure whoever is doing your interlocking knows exactly what they're doing. Don't ask your friends to do it if they have no idea what they're doing because they can cause some serious damage to your hair. Another do is to clean your scalp so good, like squeaky, squeaky clean. If you guys saw before, you saw me do my deep conditioner, a review for Shea Moisture and before that I showed you my scalp and how squeaky clean it was and I emphasized how I was in the shower for about two hours just to make sure that those lock my scalp was clean not just my locks but my scalp because your scalp holds a lot of product dandruff is our friend and she likes to creep up on us some from time to time so another do is to wash your hair and keep your scalp clean on a regular basis. Another thing that is a don't, which I suffered from in the beginning stages of my locks, is retwisting my hair in the wrong directions. Let me tell y'all something. I started off twisting my hair right, and then I went left. And then I realized, no, I started right. And so I kept going back and forth, and this causes thinning in your hair. This causes breakage in your hair. Whatever you, whatever direction you started off twisting your hair, make sure you stay in that direction. You'll have amazing results. Even if you don't know which way to start, follow the natural curl pattern of your hair. If your hair is growing this way, retwist your hair that way. If it's growing this way, retwist it that way. This is another do that I tell you guys all the time and I don't even have to go too much into it, is to keep your hands out of your hair. Just keep it out. Another don't is wearing lock jewelry. Because from time to time, just take your lock jewelry out. Let your, your locks breathe for a while, especially when you're washing your hair. Take it out. Once your hair is dry, place it back in. Last but not least, and what I started to do, which I actually just ordered from Amazon, is to hydrate your hair with other products other than moisturizing it. So like steaming. Steaming helps your hair so much and it helps your hair even if it's not locked because it opens the follicles, it opens the cuticles, it helps 
stimulate hair growth is so awesome for your hair and I'm so sad that I just learned about steaming where have I been so I just ordered mine off of Amazon and I can't wait I can't wait to start steaming my hair last thing on the do not list is to go to sleep with your hair wet I know sometimes we wash our hair and then we retwist it and we put in our curls or we put in our two-stranded twist or whatever it is and it still could be wet and we just go to sleep this is not a good thing trust me when I say because when your hair actually dries it'll smell like mildew because of whatever you covered your hair with to go to sleep and because it wasn't fully dry it's just basically it it calls mold and mildew not even on top of your roots but inside of your locks Ugh. and that is disgusting so i don't think i need to say anything else about that just do not go to sleep with wet hair. I hope that this video helped you guys in so many ways. My do and do not list for 2017 for your locks. I hope by doing these things, it starts you off the year great. And by the end of 2017, your hair is bomb. Not that it ain't now, but it will stay bomb. You feel me? I love you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Let's get this to 50 like, su likes. Subscribe below if you haven't. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, come on, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so any video that comes up, you will see me. Love you, Tiger Lilies. Toodles.